this is a week in the life of a film and media major at Georgia State University. Hey guys, I'm Marissa Ware and I am a junior at GSU. Before today's podcast workshop, I wanted to make sure I finished my marketing homework. For those who don't know, I am a marketing minor. Then I ate some pizza and watched my cartoons. I'm a big kid at heart and I still love cartoons. Next, I'm recording some footage for my documentary final that's due tomorrow. I completed most of the project, but I'm just adding the last few touches. Now that that's done, I'm heading out to the podcast workshop. When I saw the school was having this event, I was so excited. I knew I had to go. I just started my podcast called the Arts and Entertainment Podcast, and I knew I wanted to learn all the tips and tricks. One of the sessions was hosted by WABE. During the session, they shot a live podcast episode, and I was one of the guests on the show. They were also explaining their college podcast competition, and they were giving us tips about what makes a good podcast. Here is a snippet of the podcast episode I was in. I mean, I think it matters. Like, you know, there's a lot of successful careers that you can have without a degree. How can we let them know that college isn't a prerequisite to being successful? Marissa says you just have to walk the walk. So just showing off how important and how successful we are in our careers that we didn't get degrees in, I think is one way to show them that, you know, we don't need to be successful. Here are some pictures of the podcast tips they were showing us. The next session I went to was talking about how to be a good interviewer and how to get the most information out of your interviewee. Overall, I really enjoyed the event, and now I'm on the bus on my way back to the dorm. You don't want to be walking downtown by yourself at night. Now that I'm back in my room, I'm finishing up my final project that's due tomorrow. I'm just adding the last clips that I shot today and making sure everything looks good. My project's about successfully juggling content creation, classes, and college life. Okay, that took way longer than I expected, but I'm glad it's done. Today is the day that we screen our final projects in class, and I go to the voice acting club right after. So right now, I'm finishing up some homework for my public speaking class. Now I'm on my way to my documentary film class. I'm a little nervous, but overall, I'm excited to get this out the way. We screen our films in front of the entire class, and everyone's allowed to give their critiques, feedback, and comment on your film. Recently, I, me and a friend of mine, we just went to Trees Atlanta in Kirkwood, and he planted some trees, and uh, so which just helps our environment to grow. So that's just part of like what I do. That's one example of what I do as a criticist. So, so, basically- so I received some constructive criticism on my film, but overall, it'll help me grow as a filmmaker. After class, I'm on my way to the voice acting club. Today's meeting was an end-of-year party. We had pizza and we played improv games. I'm excited for next semester for the club because next semester we'll be recording our voice acting demo reels. At the meeting, we received our t-shirts that we tie-dyed at the beginning of the semester. I'm pretty satisfied with the way my t-shirt came out. I changed to go put on the shirt and we all took a group picture in our voice acting club t-shirts. Overall, this was a really fun day. Day three, this was my favorite day. Today I'm editing my short film, Undying Love, and I'm going to the Creative Media Students Showcase. So I'm starting off my day making some breakfast. And then I'm briefly studying for my marketing test that takes place next week. So now I'm on my way to my favorite building on campus for the Creative Media Students Showcase and to edit my short film that I made with my friend. This building gives students access to every Adobe Creative Cloud feature for free. The CMII has a green screen room, virtual reality, a talking robot, and so much more. This building is so cool. The student showcase event was packed. There were so many people there. At the showcase, students were able to show off the projects they've been working on all semester, including video games. Everything about the video games were made by students. The writing, the programming, the character designs, the illustrations, everything. Students also showed off other projects they've been working on, including a virtual reality music video, comic books, and more. Here I am playing one of the games made by students. It was really cool. I'm so proud of my peers and I'm so amazed by their creativity. And I'm sure I'll be working with them in the future. And one of the creators of the game was explaining to me how the game worked. (laughs) 
At the showcase, we received stickers. I love stickers, so I was very happy about this. After having a good time at the showcase and spending hours there, my friend and I finally sat back down to continue working on Undying Love. Undying Love is a 12 minute drama about a student who is struggling with her personal life and trying to stay afloat in school. Undying Love is a short film my friend and I made outside of class. It's always important to make your own opportunities and get your own experience, and this is exactly what we're doing. <laughs> It's getting late, so I'm on my way back to the dorm. Once it starts getting dark, it's time to start heading back. So I'm sitting outside the student center with other students waiting for the bus. And now that the bus pulled up, I'm about to get on. You typically don't want to be out late by yourself in downtown Atlanta. But if you have to be out late, make sure to walk back with somebody else or take the bus. It's not the safest to be walking outside at night by yourself. It is safety back to the dorm. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. For more media, entertainment, and art content, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.